workbench. Super excited to finally get my hands on an Armor Tool workbench. Um, so their workstations are amazing because they are mobile. Um, so obviously a workbench is a must for any DIYer, maker, woodworker. Uh, but what's great about this one is it's mobile. Um, so obviously you have your, your uh, butcher block top, some great, great hard maple. You got all of your dog holes, clamping capabilities. Um, amazing unit. So super excited to get my hands on this. Um, this video just kind of goes into how to customize it. So what's cool about the Armor Tool uh, workbenches is they already come with uh, pre-drilled holes. Uh, into the frame, super easy to assemble, uh, but then you just go ahead and you can customize it to whatever you want. Uh, so just throw some plywood in, whether it's shelves, drawers like I did, uh, possibilities are endless. Uh, I will continue to customize this out, probably do uh, some more stuff down the road, but uh, this just gives an idea of how to throw the drawers in and, and just how to make it happen. So awesome bench, awesome workstation. Um, if you want to see more of how I put this to use already, uh, check out my Instagram. Uh, plenty, plenty of content there, but um, let's see how to customize a workstation. All right, so go ahead and start off with your sheet goods. Um, I've got some three quarter inch plywood here. This is a great project to utilize some scrap pieces. Um, the way I went about it, I, I do have that three quarter inch reveal uh, on the bottom, the sides and the back of, at the bottom. Uh, if that bugs you, then just go ahead and do the sides and back before uh, putting in the bottom shelf. Uh, again, I was fine with the look, but if that bugs you, then just uh, reverse the order. And then those pre-drilled holes come in handy. Uh, just go ahead and fasten in place and you got your general uh, general frame and now it's time to get ready for drawers. All right, so in order to fit drawers and the drawer slides in here so it's flush, um, I gotta move it out. So I'm gonna still use the three quarter inch plywood, but actually, which three quarter plywood is really 23, 30 seconds and half inch ply, half inch ply and the three quarter ply is actually just enough to make it perfectly flush. So I went ahead and I got the height for this little shelf so that the plywood, when it's out here, is going to sit right below, right here. So even when I have my, my full length uh, dog holes down here, it's, uh, it's not going to come in conflict. Some people will use a drawer and they won't even have a shelf, but because they got all the holes, I'm going to have so much sawdust and wood chips. I want to make sure I got a cover there, bonus shelf, I can throw the clamps in there, uh, but anyway. Half inch ply, three quarter inch ply works on either side. But first, uh, you know, get your pocket holes drilled in your shelf and slide it in there first. So let's uh, let's install it. All right. So with those side pieces, uh, go ahead and pre-drill them, and then start the screws. So that way, when you fasten it later, it just makes it that much quicker. And I do recommend adding in a shelf. Uh, above the drawers to keep all the sawdust from getting in the said drawers. I mean, it's a shop. You're going to get sawdust. But um, here I'm just kind of being ridiculous. Um, I thought it was going to fit so I could just hammer it. Just keep trying, keep trying. No, no, no. Uh, anytime you do uh, work like this or like cabinets and such, um, you're going to have some issues with plywood not being square. Just take it out, get a sharp block plane, knock down those corners. And uh, it this just makes quick work and then it'll fit just right. Um, because you know what, we're not perfect. We're not gonna always get it square. All right, so get that shelf in first and then add those side pieces and um, and then add the screws, right? Get it nice and tight, fastened. You really wanna make sure that the whole thing is flush, not just in the front, but all the way in the back. Um, it, it might look like I'm going overkill with the screws, but uh, just really important. Um, otherwise, when you're sliding those drawers in and out, uh, it might get stuck in the back. So speaking of drawers, uh, here we go. So don't be intimidated by making drawers. It's really straightforward. Um, just get some plywood and just cut it down to size, some pocket holes, and you're good to go. Um, so I'm using uh, the Armor Tool inline clamps here uh, just on the bench itself, and this works great. And just, uh, you know, add the pocket holes in the front and the back. Can't see them on the side. And then some wood glue, some half-inch plywood, and some brad nails and for the bottom, and you're good to go. Um, little glue squeeze out. So pull out the plastic straws, and um, just it contours into the angle, picks up that glue. And uh, it's such a great trick. I use it often. Uh, Fun little tip. All right, drawer slides. Again, if you are new to drawers, don't be intimidated. Um, it's it's pretty straightforward. There are some uh, you know different products out there, jigs to attach drawers and drawer faces, but I'm just using some scrap plywood and it works great. 
Um, you know, so I'm just using that uniform three quarter inch uh, for the drawer faces itself. And then, you know, underneath just to get the height I want. Um, and you, you know, just gonna mess around with it back and forth, make sure it's flush. Um, you might have to take it apart, you know, unscrew one side like I did here, just to make sure both sides are fully flush. Um, and then um, off to the second one, you know, for me again, so some more spacers, some scrap wood underneath the drawer slides on both sides and, um, you know, getting them attached and it's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, there's, you know, big sheet of plywood, I've got a little quarter inch piece, just that uniform height and it's just sitting where I want it. And, um, and there we go, attach again. And so like you just can use scrap wood. You don't really need a fancy, fancy tool, but if you want it, you know, more power to you. All right, drawer faces. Um, I'm just doing poplar here. Um, so, you know, it's always fun to have a nice, nice wood um, on the front. All of my shop furniture has poplar. And here I am again using the armor tool, uh, inline clamps, uh, makes quick work, doesn't move around and just clean up some marks there, make it look nice. Um, it's shop furniture. I mean, I didn't seal these, but it's still nice to kind of, you know, make it look a little bit nicer. Um, adding my uh, drawer poles. So I actually add my drawer poles ahead of time, uh, just kind of measuring where I want it, that good old look and, you know, pre-drill, all that good stuff. So um, make your own drawer poles. They're pretty fun. Um, I have another video I'll link um, how to make um, these drawer poles in another shop organization uh, video. Just some router bits. You can make some pretty nice ones some lovely walnut um, and um, again I'm attaching them ahead of time you can attach your drawer poles afterwards um, but drawer poles they're nice you know it's a shop but it can still be classy all right so attaching them uh, to the drawer itself um, you know you can just clamp it in place there's plenty of ways to do this some people do double stick tape um, and this is where you're going to kind of finagle a little bit just to get that perfect reveal uh, you can use the playing card trick um, other ways to do it, but just kind of go back and forth and you might have to, you know, reattach, move it, tweak it uh, just to get the reveal that you want uh, to make it look lovely. So um, I think that looks lovely. I'm happy with it. Um, so there you can see uh, the drawer. Uh, later on, I, I am going to add some customization to this. Uh, you can check that video again that I mentioned. Got some great uh, cool custom inserts for for shop furniture. All right, so what I love about this armor tool bench is their clamps, right? If this particular bench, actually all of their workstations, uh, their, their clamp package, this is what you see right here. So I'm just making some storage uh, for, for the stops, the inline clamps, you know, all, all those bench dog clamps. And um, it's a great, great way to add it on the side, right? So you already got that plywood and just with some pocket holes, uh, I can just drill it into the side and bonus storage. Um, you know, if you're going to customize something, you know, customize it. So you get the feel for it. Here it is in all its beauty and all its mobile beauty. Um, it's right there and, you know, possibilities are endless. So I'm using this as an outfeed table. It's perfect for my garage, you know, little shop. And there you can see that walnut sliding on perfect height. And then just really quickly, I can pull out the clamps and lock something in place and good to go. So really happy with it. Uh, love my bench. I've used it a lot, uh, but customize it. Have fun with it.